need to do in order to clear is create an oasis in which to live. Your oasis is your safe place, your toxic free zone where your load has been significantly reduced. For some, that can mean an airtight porcelain lined enclosure, something like a refrigerator. For others, their safe room is just a stripped down room within their house that's uh, conducive to good ventilation or air control. My name is Sarah Pinter. I live in Orange County near a fumigation company and we're in the process of a suit against the company for improper handling of their chemicals. So. Great. Thank you. <laughs> I guess you don't mind if I smoke. <laughs> it just wasn't the right time to quit with you dying and all. <laughs> it's not been a good day, sister. And I am blaming you. I am. I can't help it. Now you know that I am not one to judge. And quite frankly, I was glad that you cut loose and had some fun towards the end. But I wish you had been more careful. I mean, you turn on the light when you get up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Especially in a strange motel room. If you are going to have affairs, you have got to be more careful. <laughs> of course, this is useless information for you now. <laughs> Hope everybody likes brownies. Oh, my. That is so thoughtful. Are those nuts? Walnuts. Oh, gee. We can't have that. Some of the children are severely allergic to nuts. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Whose child is allergic? Well, no one in this class specifically, but you can never be too careful. <laughs> Believe me, this isn't meant to publicly humiliate you. Laurie says he's trying real hard to be a good grandfather. Yeah. Well, Jimmy, I swear, the one thing you got from him is his stubborn side. That's not true. <sighs> well, what do you want me to do? Pretend everything was perfect? You've been blaming your father for too many things for too many years. I just call him like I see him, huh? <laughs> Jimmy, you can sell that story someplace else, because I ain't buying. You got your shot at baseball. You got hurt. Simple as that. It had nothing to do with your father. You think he didn't have dreams? And why it didn't work out with you two? I'm going to need a longer street for that talk. Hello? Hi, would you like to register? Oh, sorry, we're closed. Uh, no, we have the entrance right here. A registration ended at three. Well, it's three o'clock now. No. Oh, come on. Have a heart. We're four minutes late. We just drove all the way from Albuquerque. Then you should have been here by three. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There must be some way we can work this out. Please. Everybody else was here before three. I'd be giving unfair advantage. No, no. Wait, we're not looking for an advantage. We just want her to compete. That's it. Don't yell at me, sir. I didn't make you late. We set up on the schedule for the show. We turned off the computers. Our lineup is final. I said, I have a hair check to do. I'm sorry that you're late, but I can't help you. Please. You don't know what we've been through. Uh, Ms. Jenkins? I, I can put him in the system. Oh, Kirby, you don't have to. Oh, it's okay. It's five minutes. Well, it's your time. Excuse me. I always say this is what it come to. Three years ago, I revisioned it. Maybe three years we married. Three years ago, I said them very words. No and good. Here we are. 90 degree heat. I got the cancer. And look at this. Not even my home to go to. We're going to El Paso, Texas. You know how many people I know in El Paso, Texas? That's how many. <laughs> I didn't see my pregnant zone. I put it in, Mama. Well, I didn't see it. Well, I put it in, that one. You just sit there. I'll get tickets in the cart for the bags. 
You need help with the bikes, mother. Oh my God, there is one gentleman left in West Texas. Yes, thank you, I am old and I am not well. Which bus are you taking? Going to El Paso, don't ask me why. It's not often you see a Mexican in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. I'll call you back. Rose. Kitty. Rose, I'm sure that you're aware of the horrible allegations against Jim Cunningham. I know I saw it on TV, something about a kitty porn. Oh, please, please, don't use those words. It's obviously some kind of conspiracy to destroy an innocent man. And I have taken it upon myself to spearhead the Jim Cunningham defense campaign. Rose, I have to appear at his arraignment tomorrow morning. And as you know, the girls are scheduled to leave for Los Angeles in the morning. Now, as their coach, I was the obvious choice to chaperone them on the trip. But right now, you can't go. Yes. Hmm. Now, believe me, of all the other mothers, I would never dream of asking you but none of the other mothers are available to go. I don't know, Kitty. It's a bad weekend, at least in New York. Rose, I don't know if you realize what an opportunity this is for our daughters. This has been a dream of Samantha's and, and all of ours for a long time. I made her lead dancer. Sometimes I doubt your commitment to spark emotion. It's clear she's earned her truly. This lady sure can act. We're here to celebrate her independent film work. That's a fact. She's worked for everybody. First timers, they grow. Please welcome Beth Grant. 